Gori, Candled Carnage. An excellent game that mixes platforming and intense combat, I'd wonder how the developers came up with the idea of a cat using a hoverboard to move around and kill unicorns. That being said, it's a hilarious concept. Positive points. The graphics are sublime and give off a bit of Borderlands vibe because of the comic effect. The different game mechanics are very well exploited both in combat and platforming. It's a nice change from games that try to introduce as many mechanics as possible just to give the illusion of gameplay, but end up using very few of them in the end. There are plenty of hidden details in the environments. It's cool to take the time to observe them to learn more about the game's lore. The OST are incredible, the developers really need to consider uploading them on YouTube or Spotify one day. The boss fights each have their own mechanics to exploit, also some are not very intuitive. The game is super enjoyable to speedrun, Gori's movements sometimes allow you to cross large gasps without having to use the stuff available to help the player. If you look around a bit, it's actually quite easy to exploit paths that weren't originally indeed. Each level is unique and the environments are never the same. You can play with the controller, which might appeal to those who are not fans of the keyboard mouse. The game is incredibly fluid and easy to pick up, also it can be slightly challenging if you aim for 100% completion. The whole game feels ambitious but knows its scope very well, which is what makes it so good. Divided into 8 chapters, you are looking at approximately 6 hours of gameplay. I had a gear Gory plays it safe and executes nearly every hack and stash trick in the playbook, but it does them just fine without inventing everything groundbreaking and immediately becomes a must play. It's a very artsy game, not only its cyberpunk setting, it changes the atmosphere and constantly spipes things up. There are levels that are a reach, giving those alleys madness returns vibes. It runs very well and looks dope. Every scenery, every execution, goods and make content for the photo mode. The soundtrack is packed with bangers, so it's impossible not to agree that the composer snapped. Combined together with the art team, they are a completely unstoppable physiologic force. Negative points. Well, I kind of expected this sign the game is still very new, but I encountered some bugs. The chase with Mr. Goldfin in chapter 4 started, but the camera was stuck at the angle where I couldn't see anything. I managed to fix the problem myself by reloading the last checkpoint through. Another bug goes to the fight to save Frank in chapter 7 to stop the middle. No more enemies would spawn and like in the private bug I had to reload the last checkpoint to fix the issue. The 100% achievement didn't unlock. I had to look up a solution online and for those who have the same problem as me. The duration might be suitable for people who aren't familiar with this type of game, but for someone who quickly gets the hang out of it, it can easily be finished in less than 6 hours. I found that the game focused much more on combat than platforming from chapter 6 onwards. Also, chapter 7 is basically just a physiological horror sequence, almost entirely based on combat, which feels a bit out of place. Some requirements for earning the golden stars are very hard to achieve, just getting the golden star for the time challenging chapter 7 took me at least 3 tries, because there are a lot of unskippable dialogues and cutscenes, and very few shortcuts to exploit. On the other hand, the time challenge in chapter 5 is way too easy to get. The gameplay doesn't vary much as you progress further, but you can easily notice character progression in both aesthetics. And in terms of power, as you go on an interrupted larger first, the level design once again is simple but very effective, mostly designed to keep the flow going. I imagine Gori will find its open niche, but 
Currently, I had say it's a bit understand it and I wish it could go a uh, mainstream. It's hard not to love Gory and while there are things I wish were better as a complete package. It's better than the sum of its parts and it's a blast. In itself, the issue I pointed out are more about bugs and the difficulty of the challenges rather than how the game exploits its mechanics and concepts. I really enjoyed completing the game 100% despite my reluctance to do the time challenges. The combat platforming graphics environments, everything was very well done and it's probably one of the games I could replay every year until a sequel comes out. The people want a go to.